Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine, thank you. Okay, that's good. How was your day? My name is Elias. <laughs> How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? Very good. It was good. Okay. Nice. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Rosy. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, David. ¿Le queda bien ese nuevo look? Sí, creí que no se van a fijar, que no se notaba. Sí, se nota. Ok, ya gracias. Gusta. Gracias. Hoy se nota más. Sí. But thank you. I went to the beauty salon today. <laughs> okay, so it's almost time. Hello, Luis. Hello, Irving. Hello, Miss. Guys, is it raining out there? Is it raining where you live? Mm. Is it raining? Está lloviendo? Yes. 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 Okay, because it's raining here. Okay, it's 8 p.m. No, it's snoring. Oh, we, we can hear a baby. <laughs> yes, Jessica's baby. <laughs> He's gonna learn, he or she is going to learn English. Mm. <laughs> is girl or boy? A girl. It's a girl. What's her name? Uh, Juan va a cumplir el 25. Okay, and, and what's her name? Mm -hmm. And her name? The baby's name? Uh, Andrea. Andrea. Oh, that's a beautiful name. <laughs> okay, so um, let me tell you a sentence, please. Remember to turn on your camera and to say present, okay? So I'm going to begin with Alex Presa. Present teacher. Okay, Carlos Gonzalez. Present teacher. Good. Carlos Pinto. Bien. 
Daniela Ardón. Edwin Elías Ramírez. Present, teacher. Gerson Tobar González. Gerson Otoniel. Okay. Hilmar Alexander Alvarado. Present, teacher. Okay. Thank you so much. Héctor Alfredo Marroquín. Irving Osmin Rodríguez. Present, teacher. Ok, thank you. Ismael Isaac Aguilar Rivera. Present. Juan Francisco López. Juan Francisco López. Present, teacher. Michelle Ayala Ayala. Present, teacher. Luis Alonso Carrillo Vázquez. Present teacher. Uh, Mario Alfredo Tejada Maldonado. Present. Okay. Merci Damaris Molina Guevara. Rosa Anabel Chávez. Oh, Rosa is Chris. Uh, Silvia Yanel Carrillo. Okay, present, Rosy. Silvia Yanel. Present, teacher. Okay. Verónica Susana. Present, teacher. Okay, Silvia, yes. Verónica. Jessica Marisol. Present, teacher. Mami, I put me in my ikika. <laughs> Daniel, ah, perdón, David Emanuel Hernández. Present okay. teacher. Ok, Lainey Hissel Bautista. Y Daniela Elizabeth Ardón, ahí acaba de decir present in the chat. Okay, I'm going to repeat the names who didn't say present at the beginning. Carlos Pinto. Hello, teacher. Gerson Otoniel. Present, teacher. Okay, Héctor Alfredo. Metzi Damaris. Verónica Susana. Okay, thank you so much. How are you today? Thursday. Thursday. Well, I'm fine. How are you, teacher? Okay. Yes, I'm, I'm pretty good too. Thank you. Yes, guys, it's Thursday. Can you imagine? It's almost Friday. Just one more class after this one, and then you're going to be free. We will have two days off, the weekend off to sleep, to go to bed early, okay? So let me show you uh, the activities we are going to have today in the class. So what day is today? I already told you. Today is Thursday, okay? Thursday, can you repeat, please? Thursday. Thursday. Yes, Thursday, Thursday. November 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, Alfredo, would you like to read the class objective, please? Okay. At the end of the class, participant, participants will be able to know how to identify and use positive adjectives and nouns. 
Thank you so much. Yes, yeah. so today we are going to learn how to identify and how to use possessive adjectives and possessive nouns, okay? Teacher, what is that? I think you are speaking in Chinese. <laughs> no, but it's like, you will see this. I think you know a little bit about it. Okay, the activities in the agenda. Jessica, okay. Marisol, would you like to read the activities, please? Activity one. Uh, but we don't hear uh, you. <laughs> one. Credit of preference class. Activity two, war up. Warm up. Activity three, listening exercise. Listening exercise. Activity four, possessive adjectives, major his heart. Etc. And? Activity five, possessive now. Possessive nouns. Activity six, war up. Wrap up, wrap up, yes. Thank you so much, Jessica, you did a good job. So, um, as you can see, the possessive adjectives are this one. Just, uh, they show possession, like my, my students, my teacher, my book, my cell phone, okay? Your, your book, your house, your dog, he's referring to a man or a boy, right? His name, his car, hair, her hair, her dress, her blouse, etc. Okay, and today in possessive nouns, we are gonna use or we are going to learn the use of apostrophe to show possession, okay? Ya aprendimos cómo usar el apóstrofe con las contracciones y ahí vamos a aprender cómo usarlos con los nouns o los sustantivos, ¿ok? So, to start with the activity one, we have review of previous class. Para hacer un repaso de las clases anteriores que hemos estado aprendiendo, ¿qué hemos estado aprendiendo en las clases anteriores? The alphabet. Okay, that was yesterday. Yes, the alphabet. Occupation. Occupations, okay. It is. It is. It ah, is. The verb be, the verb be affirmative, negative, and questions. So we are going to practice that. I'm going to send you the link and so you can do this exercise, okay? Everybody is going to do it. I'm going to send it um, in the chat in, by Zoom and also uh, in the WhatsApp. So you choose whether or which is better for you, okay? If WhatsApp or Zoom, okay? So you have to work on this exercise. It's a little bit long. But it's a very complete exercise. You will practice affirmative, negative questions. Okay? okay. So, um, are you there? Ya, ya vieron el link? Ya entraron? Yes, teacher. Okay, that's good. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's this yes, one. Teacher. So, the first says, instruction one, choose the right form of the verb to be to complete the questions. For example, my pet aggressive, you have to choose is, are, or am. Is. It's. Is. Okay, is my pet aggressive? Okay. Letter B, you said is, are, or am? Um. 
Are. Are you sad? Are you sad? Yes. Are you sad? Yes. Uh -huh. Ajá, uh, triste. Um. Okay, what about letter C? Is. 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 Is the player. I'm gonna make it bigger. Okay, is he a soccer player? Okay, D. E. Yar. Is. Is she. Is. Is, is she a nurse? Okay. Letter E. They in Brazil. Are. Are. Are they in Brazil? Because it's plural, right? F. Yeah. Ronaldo and Messi, soccer players? Um, is. Are you Ronaldo and Messi? Are. Are. Are Ronaldo and Messi soccer players? Son, ¿verdad? Ronaldo y Messi, jugadores de fútbol. Ok, are. G, eat Monday today? Is. 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 Exactly. Is it, is it Monday is. today? No, it isn't. Today is not Monday. Today is? Uh, what day is today? Thursday. It's Thursday, yes. Thursday. It's Thursday. Okay, letter H. The school bus yellow. R. Uh, is. How many? How many buses? R. Is porque solo is solo uno. Solo es uno. It's only one. One bus. One school bus. Is the school bus yellow? Yes, it is. Okay. I, Shakira a singer. Is. Is, right? Is. is Shakira a singer? Answer. Is Shakira a singer? What is the answer? No. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Okay. <laughs> J. Yes, she, Shakira is a singer. Okay. Your parents at home. Are. Right. Are, are are your parents at home? Okay, excellent. Okay, now look at the picture, read the words, and write the yes no question. For example, mechanic and he. How do I start the question? Is he? Is he mechanic? Is he mechanic or is he a mechanic? A mechanic. It's a, a mechanic. mechanic. Recuerdan que les dije que con las jobs and occupations we use a, the article A, right? Is he a mechanic? Is he a mechanic? Okay. Now we have the woman, hungry and she. Hello. She is hungry. Is she, um, is she hungry? Vaya, recordemos la estructura. Primero el verbo. Is she, is she hungry? hungry? Is she hungry? ¿Tiene hambre o está hambrienta? Yes, she is. Yes, I am. Hungry. Oh, you are hungry. <laughs> In this case, it's yes, she. Okay. What about Colombian and she? Is she Colombian? Is she Colombian? Okay. From Paris, Sara. Is Sara from Paris? Is, exactly. Todas las preguntas comienzan con el verbo, ¿verdad? 
Is Sara from Paris? En este caso, ¿verdad? Con el verbo to be. In a concert day. Are they in a concert? In a concert. Very good. We have uh, the plural form, right? Are they in? Are they in a concert? Okay. In the park, it. Is it in the park? Is it? Is it? Uh -huh. And the it park. refers to? Is it in the park? ¿A qué se refiere el it? A cosa o animal. Al, al perrito, vea. Dog. Is it in the park? <laughs> American and you. Uh, Are you American? No, I'm not. I'm Salvadorian. <laughs> okay, an English teacher and George. Is George is an George. English teacher? Excellent. Is George an English teacher? ¿Y por qué es an... Y no a English teacher, sino an English teacher. Porque empieza con vocal. In. Exactly. E, right? English. Okay. Any questions? Or so far so good? Elias, so far so good? Hilma, Irving, Hersan, David, do you have any questions or so far so good? Dios mío, hoy me están dejando ignorada. Ya me voy a poner triste. The teacher is sad. Is the teacher sad? Yes, yes she is. Voy a trazar en el ejercicio. Este, el enseñada, mire, en la parte de donde dice el de Amber, ¿verdad? Yo estaba en la duda de que era she's hungry, pero es is she hungry. ¿Por qué? Que ahí me confundo. Esta, is she uh -huh. hungry? Sí, porque... porque uh -huh. Yo pensé que primero era el, o sea, el she. Cuando es una oración normal, afirmativa o negativa, sí. Pero aquí son preguntas. En las preguntas, primero va el verbo. Is o al ar, ¿verdad? Ya está. Ah, exactly. Is, is, are. Uh -huh. Is singular, are plural, or you? Y para el personal, yo. Ah, am, am I, am I, am I sad? Am I sad? Triste. Am I? No sé. Am I sad? Estoy yo triste. Am I sad? Yes. Entonces, ¿cómo oh, me no. diría? No hay, no. Happy. No, no sé. you aren't. No, or you are. yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, I'm very sad because the students are not participating so much. <laughs> okay. Let's continue, guys. Now, match the questions with the answers. Vale, voy a ir preguntando, pues. Si no participan, yo les voy a hacer preguntas directas. Y más a los que tienen las cámaras apagadas. Vamos a ver. I'm cooking my dinner, teacher. Ajá. Ok, Carlos González. Is your yes. car blue? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. 
Okay. Um, let me see. Good job. Mm -hmm. eh, ay, no sé quién dijo que estaba cenando. <laughs> okay. Karen Mitchell, are you a teacher? Um, Are you a teacher? Are you a teacher? Yes, I am. Yes, yes I am. am. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Rosie, is she your mom? Is she your yes, mom? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Correct. Good job. Ismael, are dolphins mammals? Are dolphins mammals? Son los delfines mamíferos? Are dolphins mammals? Yes. Yes, they are. They are. Yes, they are. Okay. Alfredo, are you a student? Are you a student? Yes, I am. Yes, he is. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Okay, so ustedes, alumnos, son ustedes estudiantes? Sí, yes, 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 we are. Yes, yes. We are. yes. David. No. David, is David tall? Yes, he is. <laughs> And I think that's true. Este estaba fácil. <laughs> that was easy, yes. Vaya, ven una característica de la respuesta. Mm. Aquí todas son afirmativas, pero ¿se fijaron cuál es una, una característica? Eh, cuando los verbos están en plural. No sé. Vaya, miren. Todas son afirmativas y no negativas. En esta sí. Vaya, no lleva en esta. apóstrofe. Ok. Las short answers no llevan, ajá, las respuestas cortas, short answers, no llevan apóstrofe, muy buena observación, excelente. Okay. Ahora, otra cosita, si se fijan, cuando de la pregunta, tienen que fijarse de qué está hablando, cuál es el sujeto, por ejemplo, is your car blue, sabemos que your car se refiere a un objeto, is your car blue, yes, it is. ¿Verdad? Entonces, it se está refiriendo al okay. your car. Uh -huh. car. Ahora, le pregunta aquí, are you a teacher? ¿Eres tú profesora? Entonces, ¿cómo le va a responder? No yes, le va I a am. yes, I am. No le va a decir yes, con you, ¿verdad? Porque si le pregunta, vea, usted... Okay, you en primera usted, persona responde. En segunda persona, usted va a responder en primera persona. En usted primera es persona. profesora. Sí, tú eres, ¿no? Vea, le dice, ¿es usted profesora? Sí, soy. Sí, lo soy. Yes, I am. Uh -huh. Is she your mom? Es ella tu mamá. Y esto es fácil, mire, porque solo va a decir, yes, she is. Va a responder igual. Yes, she is. Are dolphin mamas? Aquí está diciendo los delfines. Está en plural. Y se refiere a otra, o sea, animales, tercera persona, en plural, sería. Liga, ahí tengo una pregunta yo. Okay. Yes, they are. Diga, Verónica. En, fe, en, en ese caso, que, que son animales, este, ¿cómo aplica ahí el, el, el verbo? Si es solo uno, un animal, <coughs> perdón, un animal, 
ir. Y si son dos o más, de ir. Ah, va, está bien, gracias. Ahora bien, a veces si es una mascota que es así bien querida y que hasta es parte de la familia, entonces puede, se puede usar he or she, si ya, para diferenciar, ¿verdad? Es posible, es posible. Pero en general usamos it en singular and they en plural. Are you a student? Si se fijan aquí, es, es, es el you, pero en plural, porque está students. Plural. Are you students? Yes, we are. ¿Por qué? Porque sí. le están preguntando a ustedes. Ustedes son alumnos. Sí, somos alumnos. Alfredo tenía pregunta. Eh, no. Fui yo quien estaba. Gracias. Ah, ok. Eh, ahí donde estaba preguntando que si nosotros somos alumnos, eh, respondemos, eh, yes, we are, eh, yes. porque estamos hablando de nosotros. Pero si fuera, eh, por decirlo, que ustedes son alumnos y alguien más responde, o sea, eh, como decir, eh, ellos son alumnos, eh, ¿cómo sería? Ah, no pero sería, entonces la pregunta es diferente. Are they students? Are they students? No. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Uh -huh. Entonces se podría, eh, they are, se podría ocupar eh, para eh, muchos, no importa que sean animales o personas. Exacto. Ajá, en plural, el, el he, she, and it, he, She and it, la tercera persona en singular sí son diferentes, ¿verdad? He, él, she, ella, it, En esto. este caso fueran cosas, muchas cosas. Pero en plural, ellas, ellos y estos son they. Todos son they. Estos they. Digamos, estos objetos es they. Uh -huh. Como en este caso los delfines, ¿verdad? Are dolphins mammals? Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. And the last one. Is David tall? So, David es un hombre, ¿verdad? Es he. Yes, he is. Okay. <laughs> Now, unscramble the word and form questions. Tienen que unscramble significa eh, que están revueltos y los tiene que que poner en orden, ¿verdad? Ordene las palabras y forme preguntas. One of the forms of the verb to be is not needed. Una de las formas del verbo to be no es necesario. Por ejemplo, history is our favorite, your subject. Is, um... is history your favorite subject? Ok, empezamos. Is history... Your favorite subject. Y la word that is not needed is uh, are. Uh, okay. ¿Qué hacemos? Arrastramos y soltamos, ¿ok? Pets are is your in the park. Pets. Plural. Are. 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 are, are, are pets. Are your, your pets, pets in the park? In the park. Okay. Excellent. Are your pets in the park? Answer. Pets son mascotas. Are your pets in the park? No, they aren't. They are here at home. <laughs> okay, Colo is Colombia a big R country? ¿Qué fácil está esta? Easy, a Colombia. Is Colombia. Is Colombia. Is Colombia. Is 
Pero qué raro que no me da. Ah, es que está aquí. Is Colombia a big country? Ok. And are his friend your tall best? Is your friend. Is, is your, your friend. friend. Best. Is your best friend. Ajá, ya best tenemos. Friend. Friend. Tall. Friend. Tall. Is your best friend uh, tall? Tall. Okay. Tall. Tall. Okay. Answer the following questions. Are you from Colombia? Yes, yes. No, I am not. I am from El Salvador. Ah, okay. No. Aquí voy a usar una contraction. No, I'm not. Is your computer broken? Is your computer broken? No, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it is. Okay. I'm sorry if it's broken. O sea, que no funciona, ¿verdad? Broken. Is your mom in Mexico? Is your mom in Mexico? No, she isn't. No, she isn't, right? No, she isn't. Are you happy? Yes. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, you're not? Why not? No, yes. Yeah. I am. Is English important? It's all important. Yes, I am. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is. It is. Porque English es un, un, un lenguaje, right? Un idioma. A language. Is soccer your favorite sport? No. Yes, it is. No sé qué poner, yes it is or no it isn't. <laughs> yes it is. Yes it is. Ah, ok, no yes, it isn't. <laughs> But I guess it's David's favorite sport. The same as my fiancé. Ya, una pregunta. En Tell el me. de... Hola. Yes, Jessica. En el, en el literal E... ¿eh? No, ya no me diga literal E. Eh, ayer aprendimos the alphabet in English. Hey, you. Letter. Letter. letter e. E. El letter E. Uh -huh. Is English import. Eh, dijo de que era yes, it is. Pero no se puede ocupar como yes, I am. Como que decir que a mí sí me importa. No, porque le está preguntando es. ¿Es inglés importante? No le está preguntando, ¿es inglés importante para ti? ¿O a ti te importa aprender inglés? No, vea, solo le está preguntando, ¿es inglés importante? ¿Es inglés importante? El sujeto de la oración es, el, es inglés, entonces es yes, mm -hmm. it is. Yes, it is. Ok. Uh -huh. Okay, read the text and answer the questions. Vamos a ver quién quiere leer. Who wants to read the text? Peter Baker. I'm going to read it first and then a volunteer can read. Okay? Peter Baker is from Manchester. But uh, Paul and John uh, are from London. From London. Manchester and London are cities in England. Hamburg is a city in Germany. Sandra is at school today. Jack and Peter are her friends. They are in the same class. Mr. and Mrs. Baker are on a trip to the USA to visit their cousin, their cousin Anne. She is a nice girl. Peter says, 
My grandfather is in hospital. I am at home with my grandmother. What time is it? It is eight o'clock. Are you tired? No, I'm not. Okay, a volunteer, a brave person to read the text. Who would like to read the text? Yes. 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 Can I? Power. Yes. Okay. Es que no sé quién dijo sí. Que quién quiere leerlo. Me. Okay, Alfredo. Peter Baker is from Manchester, but Paul and John are from London. Manchester and London are cities in England. Hamburg is a city in Germany. Sandra is at school today. Jack and Peter are her friends. They are in the same class. Mr. and Miss Baker are on a trip to the USA to visit their cousin Anne. Anne. She's a nice girl. Pierce says, my grandfather is in hospital. I am at home with my grandmother. What time is this? It is eight o'clock. Are you tired? No, I am not. Thank you so much, Alfredo. Okay, let's answer the questions. Is Paul from London? Yes, he is. Then. Yes, he is. Okay. Yes, he is. Yes. <laughs> yes, he is. Yes, he is, okay? Okay, I will ask you to please try to minimize the, the, the noises, right? Okay, is Hamburg in England? No, it is. No, it is. No, it is. No, it, is. No, it isn't. Okay? isn't. No. Negative, isn't. Are Peter and Sandra friends? No, 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 they aren't. No, they aren't. Okay. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. Okay. Are Mr. and Mrs. Baker in London? No. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. They aren't. No, they aren't. Okay, they are busy. They are in the U.S. <laughs> Oops. The dog. No, they aren't. Okay. Is Peter tired? No, he not. No, he's not. Or no, he isn't. Okay. And finally, we finally finished. It was a long exercise, but I think it was a very necessary exercise. Bueno, yo creo que aquí nos han salido así porque quizás eh, aquí son preguntas personales, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Respuestas personales. But, yes. Ok, good job. Good job. I, I can hear some babies that they are repeating. So you see, they are they are also mm. learning English. <laughs> okay, 
So right now, let's continue with activity number two, which is the warm up. I know the first activity was a little bit long, but in the warm up, I want you to know about punctuation marks. What are punctuation marks? These symbols. Okay. Repeat after me. In English, uh, in American English, we we don't say point. Okay. El punto en español es period. Period. Okay? Period. 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 Yes. Period. And this is coma. Coma. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Semicolon. Punto y coma, semicolon. Semicolon. Yes. Then we have the apostrophe. Apostrophe. Colon. 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 Yes. Parentheses. Colon. Parentheses. Parentheses. Exclamation point. Exclamation point. Exclamation point. Exclamation point. Yes. Exclamation point. Okay, I'm gonna ask you. Point. How do you say coma in English? Coma. 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 Yes, coma. 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 How do you say eh, signo de admiración in English? Mark question. Exclamation point. Exclamation point. Okay. How do you say punto in English? Period. 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 Not point. Period. Okay. How do you say dos puntos in English? Colon. 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 Parentheses. Okay. And how do you say punto y coma in English? Semi. Semi. Semi colon. Excellent. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. Okay. Now we are going to practice the use of these symbols of these marks in the next exercise. Okay. So tell me the, the symbol that I have to use. For example, where is my mom? Where is question my mark. mom? Okay, so I should use a question mark. Okay. I am hungry. Exclamation point. Period. Okay, it could be a, yeah. I think a period, right? I am hungry. You a period. Can I go home now? It's a question. Can I go home now? Question mark. Question mark. Me puedo ir a casa ya? Okay. What time is lunch? Question. What time Question is mark. lunch? Question mark. Okay. What time is lunch? Aha, que hora es el almuerzo? What time is lunch? Okay. Let's eat. Let's eat. Exclamation point. <laughs> okay. Yes. Let's eat. Yes. Let's eat pizza. Let's eat pupusas. Okay. 
That was a nice meal. Esa fue una, una buena comida. Exclamation. Sí, puede ser. Depende cómo, con qué entonación lo diga, vea. That was a nice Period. meal. Ok. Por eso lo dice Period. así como, that was a nice meal. Period. Ok. I'm sleepy. Oh, I'm sleepy. Nice meal. Mm, I would say period. a period. Yeah, period. Mm -hmm. That's crazy! Exclamation point. Okay. Exclamation point. That's crazy, man. Okay. It's nap time. Exclamation. Eh. Exclamation point. Babies, it's nap time. Es hora de tomar una siesta. Ok. Exclamation no. point. Okay. Watch out. Watch out. Exclamation point. Exclamation point. Watch out es ten cuidado. Watch out. Ten cuidado. Ok, very good. Thank you. Very good. Now, guys, remember, remember when the, um, about the use of punctuation marks. Um, when you uh, make a sentence, when you write a sentence, you have to finish or end, tiene que finalizar o terminar la oración with a, with a period. No olviden sí. terminar la oración con punto. Ahora, por ejemplo, si yo digo, I like potatoes, tomatoes, pupusas, pizza, hamburgers, and soda. Coma. Ah, coma. I, I use a coma to separate, right? I like tomatoes, coma. I like pupusas, coma. I like pizza, coma. I like tomatoes, coma, pizza, coma, pupusas, coma, We use a coma to separate. Also in the answers. For example, are you sleepy? Yes, coma, I am, period. Okay? Y en inglés, las preguntas, ¿cuántos? ¿Cuántos question marks tienen? ¿Dos o una? Una. Only one, one question mark. Only one. one. At the beginning or at the end? At the end. Exactly. It's only one question mark and it's at the end. Uh -huh. Don't forget that. I was checking your homework and um, some of you put two question marks. But I know in Spanish, we need to put the question mark in the beginning and at the end. In Spanish, we have two question marks. But in English, it's only one. En inglés, solo vamos a poner un signo de interrogación al final. El, el, el inicio no se utiliza, solo en, en español sí, pero en inglés no. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. Así es que ya para las próximas tareas ya no le van a poner el signo de interrogación al inicio, solamente al final. Ok. Now, capitalization or use of capital letters. Vaya. ¿Cómo utilizamos las mayúsculas en inglés? We use capital letter to say the pronoun I. O sea, en inglés siempre el yo, I, siempre, 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 always, 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 will be with capital letter. Ok, capital I. I. I am a teacher. I am Rocío. I am 28 years old. Ok. I am from El Salvador. So, the pronoun I is going to be always with capital letter. ¿Ok? Así que igual, ahí creo que vi algún ejercicio con una I minúscula, 
pero de ahora en adelante ya no, vea, solo voy a ver las, el pronombre I in capital letter, con mayúscula. También usamos mayúscula at the beginning of a sentence, para el, al inicio de una oración o una pregunta. Siempre vamos a utilizar una letra mayúscula, ¿verdad? Today is Sunday. That we also use capital letters, también usamos las mayúsculas, to mention the months of the year, para los meses del año, siempre, en inglés los utilizamos. January, February, March, April, continue please. May, June, July, August, September, October, November. November, December. 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 Okay, also we use capital letters for days of the week. También usamos para los días de la semana. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Friday, Monday, Saturday, Sunday. Sunday. Yes, very good. Also we use capital letters for names of people or things. Para los nombres personales de personas o cosas. Por ejemplo, Tommy, Lou, Coca-Cola, right? Firulais, Missy Fu, etc. And also for names of places and countries and nationalities. For example, America, Walmart, Pine Park, San Salvador, eh, United States, Spain, Italy, Washington. Madrid, um, Super Selecto, Aguachapan, ok, etc. Ok. Got it? So far so good? Yes. Piece of cake? Yes. Yes, teacher, yes. Ok, I hope so, I hope so. Ok. Now, guys, we have a listening exercise. Yoo Finally. <laughs> no lo hemos podido hacer. But, yeah, to change activity, um, we're going to have this listening exercise. It's about um, uh, two friends, okay? Okay? It's about two friends. I think when two friends meet, I think. New friends. It's called new friends. Let me share with you the screen or the audio, okay? Let's... Hi, I don't think we've met. My name's Tom. Hi, Tom. Nice to meet you. My name is Juanita, but everybody calls me Jenny. Nice to meet you, Jenny. So, where are you from? Well, I'm originally from Argentina, but we moved to the United States when I was about five years old. Oh. My parents now live in Chile. That's where they first met. How about you, Tom? I was born in Fresno, California, and we lived there until I was seven. Then, since my father worked for the military, we moved all over the place. Oh, yeah? Where are some of the places you've lived? Mostly, we lived overseas. We spent ten years in Korea, Germany, and Japan. And then we were transferred back to the States three years ago. Wow. It sounds like you've had an interesting life. So what do you do now? I'm a university student. Oh, really? What are you studying? I'm majoring in psychology. How about you? What do you do? Well, I'm working as a sales representative for a computer company called CompTech downtown. No kidding. My brother works there, too. Okay. Do you need to listen one more time? Yes. Very good, the music. <laughs> Hi, I don't think we've met. My name's Tom. Hi, Tom. Nice to meet you. My name is Juanita, but everybody calls me Jenny. Nice to meet you, Jenny. So, where are you from? Well, I'm originally from Argentina, but we moved to the United States when I was about five years old. Oh. My parents now live in Chile. That's where they first met. How about you, Tom? I was born in Fresno, California, and we lived there until I was seven. Then, since my father worked for the military, we moved all over the place. Oh, yeah? Where are some of the places you've lived? Mostly, we lived overseas. We spent 10 years in Korea, Germany, and Japan. 
and then we were transferred back to the states three years ago. Wow, it sounds like you've had an interesting life. So what do you do now? I'm a university student. Oh really? What are you studying? I'm majoring in psychology. How about you? What do you do? Well, I'm working as a sales representative for a computer company called CompTech downtown. No kidding. My brother works there too. Okay, so now I think you're ready to answer the questions. What is the woman's name? Jenny, Julie, or Jane? Jenny. 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 Yeah, Jenny. actually it's Juanita, but everybody calls her <laughs> Jenny, okay? <laughs> Juanita. Says, Hi, Tom, nice to meet you. My name is Juanita, but people call me Jenny, okay? What is the woman from originally? Argentina. 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 Are you sure? Yes. Correct. She says, well, originally I'm from Argentina, but we moved to the United States when I was about four years old. Okay. How long did the man okay. live in California before they moved overseas? Cuánto? ¿Cuánto tiempo vivió el hombre en California antes de moverse al extranjero, antes de mudarse al extranjero? Seven years. Seven, seven. seven years. Seven years? Yes, he said, I was born in Fresno, California, and we lived there until I was seven. What is the man studying? Physics? Biology or psychology? Psychology. 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 Yes, he psychology. says, I'm measuring in psychology. How about you? What do you do? What is the woman's job? What is the woman's job? A sales representative? Sales representative. Either programmer or a receptionist. Sales representative. Sales representative. A sales representative or representative. Well, I'm working as a sales representative for a computer company called Comtech downtown. No kidding? My brother works, works there too. He says, right? Excellent. Very good. So excellent, guys. You did a good job. You have good ears. Good ears, I can see. What time is it? What time is it? It's nine o'clock. Time to take the second attendant. Yes, thank you, Alex. So please say present or here. Okay, Alex, Emmanuel Presa Rodriguez. I'm here, teacher. Carlos Antonio Gonzalez Nuila. Present, present, teacher. Carlos Jaime Pinto Tobar. Present, teacher. Daniela Elizabeth Ardón. Present. Edwin Elias Ramírez. Present, teacher. Gerson Otoniel Tobar. Present, teacher. Gilmar Alexander Alvarado Lobos. Present, teacher. Good. Hector Alfredo Marroquín Miranda. Present teacher. Nice, Hector. Irving Osmin Rodríguez Jurado. Present teacher. Ismael Isaac Aguilar Rivera. Present. Okay. <laughs> Juan Francisco López. Present teacher. Karen Ichel Ayala. Present. Yeah. Luis Alonso Carrillo Vázquez. Present teacher. Mario Alfredo Tejada Maldonado. I'm here. Metsi Damaris Molina Guevara. Present teacher. Rosa Anabel Chávez. Present teacher. Silvia Yanel Carrillo. Present. 
Lesson teacher. Okay, Veronica Susana Romero. Present teacher. Eh, Jessica Marisol Mialta. Present teacher. David Hernández. Present teacher. Laini Giselle Bautista. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, what is next? I don't remember. Let me. Then, oh, now after the listening exercise, we're going to learn about possessive adjectives, okay? Possessive adjectives, repeat after me. My. 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 Yeah, my. it's not me, it's my. 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 Remember, oh, oh. my God. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh my God. My name is. 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 Yeah. My name is. Your. 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 His. 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 Her. His. Her. 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 It. 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 Our it our our their their Let's look at some examples. For example, my shirt is green. My shirt is green. Aha, mi camisa verde, right? My shirt is green. Your book is new. Your book is new. Your book is new. His his pillow is soft. His pillow is soft. Yeah. Su su almohada es suave, pero su de él, ¿verdad? Su de él. Su almohada es Suave, okay. Her dog is small. It's a chihuahua, right? Her dog, her dog, her dog is small. Is small. Hablando de ella, ¿verdad? Ella. El perro de ella. El perro de ella es pequeño porque es un chihuahua, right? Okay. Its, its bone is old. Its. Su hueso es viejo. Su hueso, el hueso del perrito, vean, de, de, del perrito, del animalito. Its bone is old. Okay? Its bone is old. Our bird is noisy. Our bird is noisy. Yeah, our bird, Paquito, is noisy. Nuestro pájaro, nuestro. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, nuestro pájaro. Paquito es ruidoso, right? Es ruidoso. Okay? Nuestro. Nuestro. Our. Our. Nuestro. Your. Your house is big. Teacher, what do you mean? What do you mean? Noisy. Noisy, ruidoso. Your house is big. Your house is big. Uh -huh. house is big. La casa de ustedes es grande. grande. Their car is slow. El, el, their car is slow. No. El carro de ellos es lento. They, El carro de ellos. Uh -huh. Their car is slow. Car is slow. Yes, their car is slow. Their car is slow. Okay. Ready? Ready to the to exercise? To do some exercises? Yeah. Muy bien, entonces vamos a completar las oraciones con 
la forma correcta, ¿verdad? His, her, its, or their. Hagamos el ejercicio en el cuadernito. Look at the pictures, please, and do the exercise. Y mientras tanto, may I go to the restroom? Me dan permiso de ir al baño. <laughs> may I go to the restroom? I drank all of these. Let's go. Yes, you can. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Yeah, do the yes, exercise, sister. please. ¿Y el de pelo café es hombre o mujer? <risa> Medio. Es hombre. Ah, ok. All scared. Okay, so what is the first one? His. His, yes, that's right. Complete sentence, Carlos Pinto. His hair is brown. Yes, that's correct. Okay, what about the second one? Hair sweater is green. Okay, Metsy, can your hair sweater is green? Hair. 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 hair sweater. Yes. Okay, what about the next picture? Yes. Their sweater. Their. Porque son de las dos, ¿verdad? They, de las dos. Their skirts are the yellow. Skirts are yellow. Uh -huh. Are yellow. ¿Y por qué no mejor les caemos de sorpresa? A mí de sorpresa me gusta caerle. <laughs> ok. <laughs> And the last one, I mean, the other one, hair is blonde. They... There, exactly. Their hair is blown. Okay. And the last picture. His. His. His is red. His. De él, ¿verdad? His bow tie is red. Su corbatín, his bow tie is red. What about the ears are big? It's it's uh, 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 del, del conejo, right? From the rabbit. The ears of the rabbit. X ears 
are big. big. Uh -huh. Sus orejas son grandes. Excellent. Okay. Now you have to complete the text with the correct um, possessive adjective. Okay. Um, please, can you do it? Maybe you can copy. Mm -hmm. You can copy the text. And Jenny and me. Okay. How is it going? About to finish? Or not yet? Yes. Okay, okay, I'm gonna give you time. Tell me, take it easy, teacher, take it easy. Take it easy, teacher, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, um, let's check. Jenny and Nick are from Bath. Yes. Jenny and Nick. They are surname. Ah, okay, estamos hablando de los dos, ¿verdad? Here, surname is Bell. Mm -hmm. Ajá, okay. luego que sería para decir sus amigos, los amigos de ellos. Again, they are. Okay. They are. They are friends. Mm -hmm. They are friends. Ajá, they are friends. Tom and Amanda are from Bath too. Jenny is 11. And, and his brother. And his brother. His Jenny and is a boy or a girl? Her brother. A girl. Ah, it's, it's she, right? It's her. 
Jen is 11 and her brother Nick is 12. Chip is? They are dog, ajá, el perro de ellos, su perrito. Uh -huh. Ahora está hablando, la cola es corta, dice. Su cola es corta. It. Ajá, X del perrito, vea. X tail is short. Ok. It's... Luego, escuela está en Park Street. There. It's school. Oh. O puede ser nuestra escuela, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Puede ser there or our, porque no, no especifica, sí. pero puede ser nuestra escuela. Oh. Our school is in Park Street. Our school. Sí, our nuestra school. escuela. Mm -hmm. Su nombre es o el a uh, X, porque es, la escuela es una cosa, ¿verdad? X name is Park Street School. Park Street School. Ajá, Jenny likes math. They uh, Her. Her, porque es, es de Jenny, de ella, vea. She. Her. Teacher's name is Paul. Teacher name is Paul. Uh -huh. Nick likes Nick likes science. His 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 because he right his his teacher name is Amanda. Uh -huh. he, his his teacher's name is Amanda. Parents are teachers to sus papás también son profesores. The Los papás de Nick. His parents. His parents. Ok. ¿Cómo les fue? His. ¿Cómo les fue con este ejercicio? Más o menos. Soso. Soso. So -so. so -so. so -so. More or less. I know it can be a little bit confusing sometimes. Right? But yeah. with practice you will get it. Okay. Teacher. Yes, yeah, Silvia. Ten, tengo una duda. Este, you have a question. I have a question. A question. Uh -huh. uh, ¿Por qué se puso la última? His. Porque son de Nick. Los papás de Nick. Dice Nick likes science. His teacher's name is Amanda. His parents are teachers too. Bueno, que también son los papás de Jenny, vea. Pero ah, yo decía porque estábamos hablando en, en, en plural. Entonces, sí, me confundí aquí en que his es él, ¿verdad? De él, ajá, los papás de Nick. Nick's parents or his parents are teachers too. His parents are teachers too. ¿Mm? Sus papás. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, Silvia. But just remember, your is a possessive adjective. For example, you need to bring your dictionary. Tienes que traer tu diccionario. Pero your es la contracción de you are. Y lleva apóstrofe. ¿Ya se fijaron? Lleva apóstrofe y lleva una E. Entonces, you're an excellent student. You're an excellent student. ¿Verdad? ¿Se fijan la diferencia? Yes. 
Uh -huh. Para que no se confundan, ¿verdad? Lo mismo sucede con X. Eh, sin apóstrofe es un possessive adjective. The dog played with X ball. Y también tenemos X que se pronuncia igual, pero es la contracción de iris. For example, it's very hot right now. ¿Sí? ¿Sí podemos ver la diferencia? Yes, teacher. Ok. Yes, teacher. Ok, I'm glad to know that. Es bueno saber eso, ok? Now, now we are going to learn about possessive nouns. Vaya, los possessive nouns, lo que me preguntaban un día de estos, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, our teacher's name, Pedro's address, Melissa and Dora's last name. Our teacher's name quiere decir el nombre de nuestra maestra, la dirección de Pedro, el apellido de Melissa y Dora. Entonces, en este caso, eh, si se fijan, es, se utiliza con los sustantivos o los nombres, ¿verdad? Vaya, por ejemplo, our teacher's name is Rocío. Pedro's address is difficult. Melissa and Dora's last name is González. Entonces, ¿qué, qué queremos decir aquí? Vaya, teacher's name. No es prima. Um, es que alguien dijo algo. Vaya. Yo dije que Melissa y Dora eran mis primas. Ah, no, Melissa y Dora. Dice Melissa y Dora es last name. El apellido, last name. El apellido de Melissa y Dora es González. Uh -huh. Ok, teacher's name. Quiere decir el nombre de la maestra. Pedro's address, ¿qué quiere decir? Dirección. Dirección de Pedro. Ajá. Y Melissa Andorra's last name. Apellidos. El apellido de Melissa y de Dora. Entonces, se fijan, vamos a poner el apóstrofe en el, el owner o el, el dueño o quien lo posee. Por ejemplo, el nombre es de la teacher, ¿verdad? La dirección es de Pedro. Y el apellido es de Melissa y de Dora. Entonces, vamos a poner el, apó el apóstrofe y la S en quién posee, ¿verdad? En quién posee lo que se va a decir. ¿Quién es el owner, el dueño? Vamos a ver algunos... Verbo. ¿Perdón? Como el verbo. Mm, no. no, aquí el dueño de algo. Oh, okay. Ajá. Vale, vamos a ver otros ejemplos más. Teacher. Can you explain us what is nouns? No. I think that is good. Mm -hmm. Nouns I are think known. that is good for understand you. Nouns are eh, cosas, nombres o sustantivos. Por ejemplo, aquí um, name Address, last name, book, computer, cell phone, pen, pencil, eh, watch, mouse, eh, cup, eh, picture. Esos dos, esos son eh, nouns, son cosas. O personas. Uh -huh. O animales. Those are nouns. Vamos a ver algunos ejemplos en el siguiente ejercicio, en la siguiente imagen. Por ejemplo, hay singular nouns y hay plural nouns. Hay sustantivos singulares y hay plurales. Así como puede haber a cell phone, to cell phones. Right? A pen, to 
three pens. Singular, plural. Singular, plural. Entonces, vemos aquí. If it's a call now, you, we just add the S para hacerlo posesivo. Por ejemplo, aquí tenemos dog and house. Dog's house. ¿Qué quiere decir dog's house? La casa del perro. Ajá. Books words. Libros de trabajo. No, 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 no. Books words. Pala Libro las palabras. palabras. No, las Vaya, las palabras del libro. Ajá, igual aquí, la casa del perro. Las palabras del libro. Ajá. Girls, dolls. El muñeco de la niña. Las muñecas de la niña. Ajá. Birds, chicks. El, el pollo. Los polluelos del pájaro. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Cars engine. Motor del coche. Ajá, el motor del, del carro. Uh -huh. Sisters room. El cuarto de mi hermana. Ajá, Jim's pen. La pluma de Jim. My mom's bag. Bolso de mi mamá. El bolso de mamá o de mi mamá. Ajá. ¿Ven? Entonces son cosas, ¿verdad? Estos son nouns. House, book, dolls, chicks, eh, engine, the car, room, the pen, and the bag. Y entonces uh, ponemos el apóstrofe y la S en los singulars. Cuando es only one. Le vamos a poner el apostrofe en the S. Y ya lo hago posesivo. ¿Cómo digo el celular de la teacher? The smartware. Teacher phone. My, my teacher Teachers phone. Teachers Telephone. Telephone or teacher's phone. Uh -huh. Teachers. Teacher apostrophe S. Teacher's phone. Mm -hmm. Teacher's phone. The teacher's phone. Uh -huh. Ahora bien, eh, con los plural nouns, como estos son plurales, ya terminan en S, ya tienen la S. Entonces, ¿qué voy a hacer? Solo le voy a agregar el apóstrofe. Porque ya tiene la S, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, boys ball, la pelota de los chicos. Tables legs. La mesa. Las patas. Patas de la mesa. De la mesa. Ajá. Girls hands. Las manos de las niñas. Las manos de las niñas. Uh -huh. Si ¿Sí ven, ya tienen la S porque está en plural. Entonces, we just add the S, the, the apostrophe. Solo ponemos el apóstrofe. Ahora bien, en inglés hay algunos nouns que son plural, but they are irregular. Son plurales, pero no tienen la S. ¿Cuáles son algunos de estos? Por ejemplo, women. Women es mujeres. Children. Niños o niñas. Men, hombres. Entonces, no tienen la S, pero son plurales. ¿Qué hacemos? Le ponemos el apóstrofe y le ponemos la S. Ahí sabe. Women's bag. El bolso de las mujeres. Children's dolls. Las muñecas de los niños o los juguetes de los niños. Men's shoes. Zapatos de hombres. Zapatos de hombres. ¿Mm? ¿Sí? Entonces, Shoes. entonces, si es singular, ¿qué le vamos a poner? El apóstrofe y la S. Ajá. Si es plural y ya tiene la S, 
no, no. La, agregar al apóstol. Y si es un plural, pero que no tiene la S. Se le pone el apóstrofe y la S. Y si es un nombre, por ejemplo, Rocío. No lleva. Apóstrofe y, y es la S. Se le pone el apóstrofe y la S. Por ejemplo, Rocío's computer, Rocío's cell phone, Rocío's boyfriend, Rocío's book, eh, David's house, David's ¿Eh? car, ¿verdad? O Alex how, Alex house, eh, Silvia's eh, dog, ¿ok? Um, Michelle's TV, etc. Ahora bien, si hay un nombre que tiene una S, solo se le pone el apóstrofe. Un nombre que ya tenga la S, por ejemplo, no sé, Iris. Solo le ponemos el apóstrofe, ¿ja? Iris. Eh, Elías. Elías. Damaris. 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 Uh -huh. Correcto. Ajá, muy bien. The body's book, eh, Elias homework, etc. Aquí hay otros ejemplos. Bueno, aquí está resumido, ¿verdad? Singular nouns, oops, you add apostrofías, boy, boys. The boy's bicycle is blue. La bicicleta del niño es azul. The boy's bicycle is blue. Pronounce, you add apostrophe. No, perdón, you add the apostrophe only. Example, boys, boys, apostrophe. The boys, bicycles are blue, porque es plural. Some irregular plural nouns, you just add the apostrophe and the S. Children, children's. The children's bicycles are blue. Aquí está resumido, ¿verdad? Muy bien, very good. Do you have any questions? Are you ready to practice? I have a question. I don't know. Tell me, Michelle. En el ejemplo que dio de Melissa Andora, last name, como iban dos nombres, siempre sería el segundo al que se le pondría la apóstrofe y la S. Muy bien, excelente cuestión. Sí, cuando hay, cuando hay dos, tres o más, se le pone el apóstrofe y la S al último. No se lo okay. va a poner a todos. Ajá, por ejemplo, eh, David and Silvia. Uh -huh. eh, Michelle and Irving's conversation. Uh -huh. eh, Miss, no importa si el nombre de la persona termina en S. Si termina en S, solo se le pone el apóstrofe. No se le pone otra S, solo el apóstrofe. Ah, vaya. Thank you, Miss. You're welcome. Muy bien. Ahora, chicos, tengo otro ejercicio. Y este lo van a Let's hacer ustedes. Practice. Sí, practice. Y sí me gustaría que mandaran el screenshot de que lo han hecho, ¿verdad? En el grupo de WhatsApp pendiente de quienes lo hagan, ¿verdad? Entonces ahorita yo les envío el link y ustedes lo hacen. Ahí mismo les va a dar la, si está correcto o no. Y es bien fácil. Ya van a ver. A piece of cake. A piece of cake. Okay, it's already in your WhatsApp and it's gonna be in your, in the chat, in the Zoom chat right now. Okay. Harrison, why are you mad? Why are you angry? You should be happy because I am giving you practice and exercise. Okay, so let's work, people. Let's work. Yeah. 
¿O quieren trabajar en pareja? ¿O solitos? Alón. Miren, ya terminó alguien. Ah, no, es el anterior. Teacher, en el caso tenemos que ponerle el artículo o sin el artículo. ¿Cómo fue? No, no entendí su, su pregunta. Tenemos que usar el artículo. Uh, por ejemplo. Ah, ok. Por ejemplo, the books of the cat. Cat's books. No, no es necesario. No. Okay. Uh -huh. the cat, uh -huh. cat's books, the restroom of the school, sería This. school's restroom. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. I need that. Thank you. Okay, guys, are you finished?
I don't know. What don't you know? No sabe si ya terminó. <laughs> o no sabe si están bien. No, uh, uh, I'm not finished. Ah, okay. Vamos a ver, ya cayó el primero. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Lucy's, ahí tenía que poner Anne en Lucy's camera. Aunque solo en Lucy le ponía ah. el apóstrofe, pero tenía que poner ambas. Anne en Lucy's camera. Y en el People's fue error de dedo. <risas> sí, ajá, no tenía que poner la S. Ajá, people's es. opinion. Ajá, People, apóstrofe sí. S. Ajá, en Lucy's. No me fijé antes. Uh -huh. Mm. Y el ah, Sally en Luis, Sally Luis. En Luis Pictures. <risa> Ajá, muy bien. Sí. Vamos a ver la otra. Sofás. Ah, su. Ahí se equivocó porque era el, el de. Ahí dice. Su del sofá. Ajá, ahí queríamos poner el sofá de su. Entonces, ahí tenía que poner sus sofá. Hmm. Anna's makeup. Pero no entiendo por qué le salió. Jesus hamburger. Por la U que le puso el hamburger. <ríe> en Jesús. Ah, cierto. Hamburger, sí. Eso puso Michi. Eso, le puso una, una U como en español. <ríe> Y saben que a mí me pasó lo mismo. <risa> Students cry on. Muy bien, eso me gusta. ¿Qué están mandando? Ok. Sí, eh, tengan cuidado de usar, de que no vayan a usar la tilde. Tienen que usar el apóstrofe. El apóstrofe y la tilde son diferentes. Y en su teclado tienen que diferenciarlo. Ahí está. En algunos es la eh, capital letter at the beginning, el, el problema. Vaya, por ejemplo, en este, Anne en luces y no puso el qué. Anne en luces, camera. My friend's house es porque friends es plural. Y en hamburger que le ponen la U. <ríe> Pero está bien, así aprendemos, ¿verdad chicos? Sorry, teacher. Así vamos aprendiendo. Creo que esta era de Rosy Alfredo. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Sí, Rosita creo que el suyo sí tiene que ver que sea la tilde, ¿verdad? Y este de Rosita. Ajá, Anne en Lucy. Anne en Lucy's camera. Students. Crayons. Students, saben que a mí me salió mala, pero porque no lo puse en capital letter. Lo voy a enseñar mi, el mío para que. Como esos ejercicios, como son automáticos para dar la respuesta. <risa> Miren, yo también me confundí con Jesus Hamburger. No lleva U, uh, pero como en español sí. Ya ven, teachers are not perfect. But we learn from the mistakes. And the same with the students. It, it has to be with capital S. Ahí veo que se las puso bueno porque lleva capital S. Mm 
Ok. Very good. Así vamos a ir aprendiendo, chicos. Don't worry, ok? Ok, now let's continue with the next uh, activity. It's a practice in groups or in pairs, actually. Miren que hoy no los he mandado a las breakout rooms. <laughs> Vaya, ask a partner to spell the following information and write it on the spaces. Use capital letters for proper nouns. Entonces, ¿qué van a hacer? Le van a preguntar a su compañero. Eso, how do you spell the teacher's name? How do you spell or uh, what is your, what is your, uh, how do you spell your name? How do you spell your occupation? How do you spell your last name? Ayer aprendimos, se recuerdan, ayer aprendimos eso. How do you spell? How do you spell? Como de letreras, ¿verdad? Oops, sorry. Estoy haciendo un desorden. How do you spell? How do you spell? Y luego dicen el qué. How do you spell your teacher's name? How do you, how do you spell the teacher's name? How do you spell your name? How do you spell your occupation? How do you spell your last name? So I'm going to send you to the break rooms and you practice with your partner, ¿ok? Y también hacen el siguiente ejercicio. De una sola vez, ¿verdad? Hacen este. Fill in the blanks with a classmate's information. Le pregunta, what's your first name? What's your middle name? What's your last name? What's your occupation or what do you do? What's your boss name? Your boss's name? What is your workplace or where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Ok, entonces vamos a hacer estos dos ejercicios. Teacher creo que no nos mandó. Sí, es que, es que ahí hubo un error. Ya los voy a volver a hacer la sala. Es que hice muy poquitas y, y me quedaron de tres algunos y tienen que ser parejas. Entonces ahorita... <risa> ya ahorita les vuelvo a hacer la, los grupos. I'm sorry for that. Entonces tengo uno... Disculpe, eh, teacher, una consulta. Sí. Eh, ahorita acaba de terminar de hacer yo eh, el primer trabajo que se puso. Mm, y cuando yo le doy enviar, me dice poner clave y poner el correo del profesor, algo así. No, 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 solo tiene que darle check answers. Check answers. Solo comprobar mis respuestas o check answers. Y luego le toma captura o foto y lo manda al grupo. Eso yo lo envié. Ah, no, okay. yo tomé, ¿qué dice? Pero Espérame, es check, check answers. Ajá, no es enviar. 
No es enviar a la maestra, sino only check answers. Mm, ok. Let's see. Mm, ya me salí, fíjese. Yo creo que no me registró la pero mandé la captura al grupo. Ok, Héctor. ¿Cuál es su número, Héctor? 6174. Sí, sí. Ok. Teacher. Yes, Gerson. Eh, no puedo. Eh, me salió el, el compañero, pero luego este, me sacó de pantalla. Y, eh, no sé, no estoy en el grupo. Ok, lo voy a mover a otro. A ver si puede entrar. Ok, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Estoy solita. Hello, Messi. Hello, teacher. Estoy solita. Yes, no, no, but, but you can, I can ask you or you can ask me some questions. Eh, vaya. Yo estoy en la, en la compu, pero las preguntas no las anoté porque con el teléfono estoy conectada y en la compu estaba haciendo lo otro. No sé si así está bien. Bueno, lo voy a enviar entonces al... No al tiene el, el libro, porque eso es, está en el libro. No, Pero... abierto no lo tengo, solo... Bueno, lo voy a enviar al WhatsApp. The questions. Vaya. Ay, perdón, volví a repetir lo mismo. El, mandó el 5. Sí, el mismo mandé. Okay, I'm sorry. ¿Y cuál es? I and C, both, the two of them, uh -huh. son los dos. Tengo que, tengo que, que rellenarlo o decirle mi... Yeah, you ask me, ustedes me, me, usted, you ask me, y yo le respondo y usted escribe, you write the answers. Mm. No tengo, estoy haciendo todo en la compu. Va, sería, eh, le tengo que leer lo que dice ahí, ¿verdad? First name. You ask me your question. Yo, me va a preguntar, how do you spell? ¿Cómo deletrea su nombre? Usted me va a preguntar, um, how do you spell your name? How do you spell your name? R O C I O Ajá, y después how to, sería how la how do you es que yo, yo me he confundido dice la el, el 5 y el 6 pero es que en el 6 solo dice first name, middle name, last name Occupation, boss name y workplace. Entonces creo que me confundí por estar haciendo la otra tarea. 
Es que es, bueno, en los dos es de preguntar a los compañeros, ¿verdad? En el number uh -huh. five, how, va a preguntar, how do you spell? Esa es la pregunta. Uh -huh. How do you spell your name? Uh, no, how do, you spell, how do you spell your teacher's name? How do you spell your occupation? Uh, and how do you spell uh, your last name? O le puede preguntar, how do you spell, eh, por ejemplo, David's occupation? Pero como no lo sabemos, ¿verdad? O uh, how do you, uh, ajá, entonces solo le va a preguntar a... A la persona en este Entonces, caso, ¿sí? sería en ese caso como a, how do you spell your name sería yo el que me dijo lo sigo uh -huh. how do you spell your occupation ok teacher t e a c h e r teacher how teacher how do you spell Spell your last name. Chicas. C H I C A S. Ahora sería el seis o usted me va a preguntar a mí. Okay. What's your first name? I'm gonna ask you. Um, my Metsi. Ok. Uh, what's your middle name? Damaris. What's your last name? Molina. What do you do? Uh, in my English class. I'm a student. Ajá, ¿Qué es I'm tu student. ocupación? What do you do? Ah, I'm a student of English. Okay, what is your boss name? Your boss name, el nombre de su jefe. Katy. Okay. Katy González. Okay, where do you work? In uh, Alcaldía. Or no sé cómo se dice. In the city hall. In the city hall. Ayer, ayer les dije. In the city hall. hall of. ¿En cuál? San Marcos. Okay, in the city hall of San Marcos or mm -hmm. in San Marcos City Hall. In San Marcos City Hall. En la alcaldía de San Marcos. En San Marcos se, City puede, Hall. se puede pronunciar de las dos formas. Se puede decir de las dos formas. Así es. City Hall. Okay, it's 10 o'clock. Sí, ya, ya está. People, it's 10 o'clock. I didn't notice about the time. No me había fijado la hora. I'm so sorry for that. But we have learned a lot of things. Right? Just let me check who's gonna stay today. Um, Metsi, okay, Metsi. <laughs> Metsi, you have to stay the 10 minutes this evening after the class. You have to stay 10 minutes, okay? Let me please uh, take the last attendance for all of you. Uh, Alex, Presa? O todavía están por regresar algunos. Alex? Hello. Okay, Alex Presa. Present. Okay. Carlos Gonzalez Nuila? Así es, son las. Yes, it's 10 o'clock. I'm sorry. <laughs> Carlos Gonzalez? No está Carlos González. Carlos Pinto. Present. Daniel Ardón. Present, teacher. Elías. Present, teacher. Gerson. 
Tovar. Okay. Hilmar. El micrófono, teacher. Héctor, Alfredo. Present teacher. Irving Osmin. Present teacher. Ismael Isaac. Ismael Isaac no está. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Karen Michel. Hello. Present teacher. Ah, está Ismael, ok. Luis Alonso. Present teacher. Mario Alfredo. I'm here. Metsi Damaris. Present teacher. Rosa Nabel. Silvia Yanet. Present teacher. Verónica Susana. Jessica Marisol. David Hernández. Present teacher. Jessica ya no está. Quizás ya no. Okay, chicos, eh, because of the time, we have to say goodbye. <laughs> en honor al tiempo. But tomorrow, in the first activity, we are going to practice more about possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns. Okay? Also, in your homework and in the forum, please, do the exercises. Okay, guys, I hope you have a pleasure, a pleasant night and a good rest. See you tomorrow. It's Friday. Good night. Tomorrow good night. is Friday. Good night. Bye, teacher. Good night. good night. I'm going to stay with Messi. It's Messi's turn. Yeah, Messi, you have to stay 10 minutes. Okay. I'm all yours. You can ask me all the questions you want to solve your doubts. Um, or to practice English. Ah, tal vez eso. Sí, <laughs> okay. pregunta no tengo. Ahorita estaba haciendo lo de la primera, creo que era que primer link que colocó. Mhm. Uh -huh. estoy en el live worksheets, algo así. En form. Mm. Okay. En donde se colocaban las cositas. Las palabras. The yes no questions. Eh, en letter A, B, C, D decía, ah, no puedo hablar todo en inglés, pero tengo dudas en, en, en que a un costado dice word that is not need. Ah, sí, needed. sí, sí, la palabra que no es necesaria, que está extra, the extra word. Ah, uh -huh. Entonces solo tenía que escribir bien la, la, la pregunta. Uh -huh. Tenía que agregar, colocar bien la pregunta. Correcto. Um, espero ver. Ahorita iba por little, little five. No, number five. Por ahí iba, pero sí, no. Ahorita eso estaba haciendo. No sé si quieres leer un poco, a ver, para que vea mi pronunciación. Eh, el número seis, que creo que lo pasó a leer un compañero. Ok, for me that is great entonces sería Peter Baker is from Manchester but Paul and John and John and John in John and John and John and John are from London Manchester and John in London are cities of England England. Está bien. England. ¿In cómo? Eh, England, ¿verdad? Aquí tienes información. England, sí. Uh -huh. England. Uh -huh. Hamburg is city of Germany. Uh -huh. No sé si está bien pronunciado. Yes, it's, it's correct. Sandra is a... Sandra is at school today. Jack and Peter are her friends. They are in the same class. Very good. Mir, Mir, 
Mr. and Miss Baker are Ahí sería, on a... Ajá, Mr. and Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Ajá. Mr. and Mrs. Baker yes. are on a trip are on a trip to the USA or USA? USA. USA to visit their cousin. To visit. And to visit. To visit their cousin Annie. 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 Mm -hmm. Annie. Annie. Mm -hmm. she, she is a nice. Esa palabra no sé si se pronuncia. Girl. girl or girl. 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 girl, she's a neat, she's a nice girl. Así. Yes, she's a nice girl. Girl. Peter says, my grand, my grandfather, my grandfather. No sé si está bien grandfather. Grandfather. My grandfather. Grandfather. Is on is is in hospital. Mm -hmm. I am I am at home with white or wheat or wait with 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 I am home with my grandmother. What time is it? It is eight o'clock. Are you tired? No, I am not. Mm -hmm. Very good. You have you have a good pronunciation. Yes. With more practice, it's going to be even okay. better. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Tengo que aprender más. Of course. Las clases me van a ayudar. Of course. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Mepsi, oh, do you oh. have uh, any suggestion or comment? about my my way of teaching about my classes do you have any question i mean any no. comment or any suggestion no está, me gusta todo como cómo se genera la clase es una clase interactiva eh, participativa bastante me, me parece eso porque no solamente usted habla habla y habla sino que nos hace partícipes a todos en la clase y nos Pone interactuar entre nosotros para poder hacer los diálogos. Creo que es lo mejor. Es oh. la mejor manera para poder aprender. Ok, I'm glad to know that. <laughs> ok, Mepsi, do you have any other question? No. Ok, no. Mepsi, in that case, you can go to rest. Ok. <laughs> have a good night, Mepsi. See you tomorrow. Okay, good night, teacher. Good night.